can you show us how you did that magical scene with the dinosaur and the meteorite? Nice. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to film it from the front now, okay? So, Wyatt, do you have some ideas that would help the kids who are practicing shadow puppet plays? Yeah. To create good um, stories and work with puppets? Tip number one from Wyatt. To make, um, to be creative and make whatever you want. Good. Tip number two. So, you should get it planned before you do it. Mmm, that's really good. Tip number three. Share the space with your other actors. Ooh, share the space with your other actors. Tip number four. Make, make sure you, you raise your puppet with people can see you, your, your puppet. Yeah, make sure people can see the puppet, right? Not too low, right, Jacob? Yeah. Yeah. Number five. Make sure you always uh, practice before you perform. Very good. Number six. Use your imagination and be creative. I love it. Number seven. Always share your ideas with your, uh, with your group. Actually, no. Oh, that's good. Share your ideas with your group members. You might not use them, but at least they've heard the idea. It might make them think of a different idea, right? Mm -hmm. We work by mm -hmm. listening to each other and creating new ideas. Number seven? Yes. Okay. I raise your puppets fast and, and like, when, if there's magic in the story, use them fast so, they, so it's magic, but not like you just go and you put it up slow, like put it up fast. Right, so like be magical, like do magical movements, like fast movements. Very good. And number eight. Don't, don't do violence. Don't do violence. Find other ways of solving problems in your stories, right? Like using technology. What else can we use? Technology, magic, magic and, nature. and nature. Yeah, Mother Nature. Number nine. Make sure others have fun too. Make sure others are having fun too. That's really good. If we see a team having fun together, the audience is going to feel, feel really relaxed and enjoy the story. Use, use your imagination, uh, imagination even if it's not real. Use your imagination even if it's, it's not, not real. real. Even if solving a problem like that wouldn't make sense in real life. This is drama. We can use our imagination. Very good. And um, don't be afraid to go in front of the class. Don't be afraid to go in front of the class because we all are just in the same room together. And don't give up and give really creative ideas for your group so now it'll make it better for you and your group. That's great. So don't give up and give creative ideas to your group. They can use them. Be nice to your group. Be nice to your group. That's good. What's your tip, Abby? Make sure you have a clear voice so the audience could hear you. Yeah, so a clear and loud voice. And don't leave your group or wander away and so you don't hear the story. Right. Do you mean like when you're practicing, don't leave your group? Yeah. yeah. If you abandon your group then, then you'll get it you'll get confused, right? And they'll feel abandoned. Alright, any other tips for folks? Yeah? Don't don't put down your group. Don't put down your group's ideas, right? Or the the best people. Very good. Don't be scared to go on in front of the classroom. It's not like it's the gym. It's not like it's the giant gym, right? It's just a small room. And what's your tip? Well, uh, this one's for the audience. While the the actors are performing, always make sure that uh, you're being quiet because if you go on stage and the other people are talking, how would you feel? Very nice. Thank you. Kristen? Treat others uh, the way you want to be treated. I like that. It's a really good mutual respect. It's so important. And you have a tip? Uh, I don't know. I got one tip. Okay. You should like Rubik's Cubes. Right, Rubik's Cubes. Okay.